another Dino D. Completely standard M2 Motorsport. No way. No. Let's get it on a Dino. Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome back to TTC for another Dino D. Very interesting one today. If you haven't seen the previous video of the S2000 on the Dino, I actually dino my S2000 behind us, completely standard. Uh, well, I'll insert the clips here. So we're back today. All I've done is a catback exhaust. We've also done a review on that as well. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. On many of the forums, they do reckon that just by doing the catback, apparently the exhausts are quite restricted on these. So just by doing a catback, you'll gain some power. I am hoping once this is done to get the decat done. So, so curious on this to finally put this to rest to see if it's going to get some power. Ian. You build engines, you build cars for a living. Do you think putting a cat back on a car like this is actually going to gain us power or not? No. You don't, do you? No. Ooh, bit of pessimism in the room. I'm feeling confident, don't get me wrong, it's not going to make... I reckon we're going to probably be looking in the five horsepower range, but only because of how restricted apparently... Sorry, the lighting's gone. How restricted these exhausts are. I will ask Ashley, but he's on the phone, is there? Ads? Do you, <laughs> do you reckon a catback exhaust on a car like this will gain any power at all? No. No? No. This is going to be very... I think I'm going to be the only one who thinks this may actually add some power. Ash, very quickly. Do you think a catback exhaust on this is going to gain any power at all? Uh, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, okay. okay. So you're against two. The ball, yeah? Yes. And apparently uh -huh. the twin loop system on the back. But I reckon they're supposed to be a bit restricted, so... Yeah. Two against two, fingers crossed. So uh, we'll get the car warmed up, we'll do a few warm-up runs, and then the moment of truth, let's get it on a dyno. So as you saw from the previous clip, all this car is running now is the M2 Motorsport catback exhaust system. I have also done the airbox mod, which may free up a few horsepower as well, but this is mainly about the exhaust. And a few people I've spoke to, uh, as you'll notice with this, uh, they do actually come with the little baffles that go into the back box. A few of the boys have asked if we can do a power run with and without that. I can't see making any difference, but we've had a few people asking, so I'm gonna see if we'll let, see if Ash will let us do one on there as well. Because I do think that'll be quite interesting as well. Just done the first couple of runs now on the previous video completely standard it was 239.4 brake horsepower if i remember ash has just said he has put the original run on the screen with the new one so let's see what the figure is oh yes i knew it there we are uh, i'll make sure that is the right figure i'm looking at but 245.9 brake horsepower just from the cat back so there we are we've got the before and after on the screen as well. Wow, what's the torque? Right, 154, 239. That's interesting, the torque has stayed exactly the same. But yeah, the horsepower's gone up by about six brake horsepower. What are we thinking of that? Well, Literally a cat back exhaust. Gains gains, so yeah, exactly. And the yeah, figures are pretty good. Yes. And yeah, it's a very good point. Um, it was a lot warmer today than it was on the previous run as well, so we'll, we'll check that in there. But I can't believe just from a cat back exhaust. What do you think of that, Ash? A lot of people say they don't make a difference, but yeah. you know, five brake horse, I'd say that's pretty respectable for a cat back. <laughs> engine power, we lost power. This is where it gets technical. We lost power is more, engine power is more. 10 brake leaves 12 brake by the wheels. So that's wow. It's just definitely. Yeah, I mean, all around, this just a benefit in this. So they are obviously, there is a restriction there, and that is still with the factory cat in. 
so curious to see it with a decat now but before that ash has agreed we're allowed to we're going to do a couple of runs now with the baffles in 10 degrees warmer oh there we are good man 10 degrees warmer as well so that you, that will have a, uh, an effect it's like we said on the last one we got the bonnet open on the last one to get a lot more air going through it and it did make a hell of a difference so heat is definitely one to uh, to keep in mind here's an interesting one baffles now we're going to try it with the baffles in do you guys do you think that's going to make any difference very slight like yeah maybe Prob two, three yeah no, probably not enough to uh Warren. to really oh, yeah thank you very much but we're going to do the run anyway because we're all about science here so let's go for the next run So for those wondering what I was on about when I was referring to the baffles in the exhaust, if you haven't seen the other video, um, we've done a few runs without them now. All they do, they are designed to, uh, just to knock down the decibel to get rid of the drone, which they do very well. I mean, they don't look the best, but that's what they're designed for. I've never known anyone to run something like this on a dyno to see if they actually affect performance. Like I said, we don't know, but there's only one way to find out. So let's dive in. <laughs> Right. Yeah, so I can see it dipping down top end. As okay. If, when it's supposed to peak out, it like drops. Yeah. So there's a restriction on that with the, the that's, tips. Which makes off. sense. Yeah. 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 So they're the. That's the final figures. Then is it yeah. that we're looking at? So we've got. You're, you're kind of the same. It's like with the cat back. Wheel power is exactly the same. The yep. engine power is just a little bit off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as you can see there, guys, we've got 245 was with the cat back. 239 is completely standard and 232 two, roughly with the with the baffles in so it does actually make a difference yeah. uh, in a negative way by the look of it <laughs> the more runs i was doing the quicker it was getting right so, okay and it seemed like low end power was gone but after 6k the power come back right if i prepare this new test bit, probably see a little bit better on the full power run yeah you can see the blue ones your stock ones all low powers there oh, and still in the power right run. and where there's the other two were kind of overlapping yeah. certain areas you're getting more power with the cat back yeah we've got the baffles in right so that makes that's a really good that's probably the best graph to look at as ash was saying so stock is blue all the way up there red is with the cat back and the green is with the baffles Well, I've got to say, I am very happy with that because there were a lot of people that didn't think it would make any difference. I had a feeling the catback was going to uh, going to add something, but maybe not significant, but I would say five brake horsepower is a really good improvement just for the catback. As most of you probably know, the most restricted part of the exhaust is the catalytic converter, which is still in place. So I am very curious now to see whether we go high follow cat or decat. Still in two minds. Either way, we will be getting it back on the dyno. So obviously I want to say a massive thank you to Ashley for accommodating us once again. For any of your dining or mapping needs guys, get in touch with the guys at TTC. They always, always look after us. We cannot recommend them enough. There's the man right there. <laughs> so final figures for the day, guys and girls. So with the cat back, as we've said, very happy with that. 245.5 horsepower compared to the standard 239.4. I really wasn't, uh, well, I, I, I had a feeling that the catback was going to make a bit of a difference. I really wasn't expecting five or almost six horsepower, so very happy with that. With the baffles in, 232.4. Now, that is, I'd say that's a noticeable difference. I really didn't think they were going to make a difference, whether for better or for worse. Really surprised with that. So, as always, I just want to say a massive thank you to Ashley and the guys down at TTC for accommodating us. Me throwing a camera in people's faces, they're always willing to help us out. So I think next up will probably be the Decat or the High Flow Cat. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Boom.